everyone watching. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Chris with PropStream, if you couldn't tell. And I'm here with Taiwan. How's it going, Taiwan? I'm good. I'm good. Excited to be here. Me too. Today, what we're really going to be going over is PropStream. And what I want to do is explain what PropStream is and how you can use it to help you generate leads. Not only can you find sellers in your area using PropStream, but you'll also be able to find cash buyers. And on top of that, we've added in so many additional tools throughout the years that you'll also have access to our cell phone application when you sign up for PropStream which has a driving for dollars feature in it. And I'll go over the driving for dollars feature today too. But remember, if you do sign up for PropStream that you sign up using Tyvon sign up code. If you sign up using that, then you should get a discounted price on your monthly subscription. But let me go ahead and dive into PropStream. So for those of you who aren't familiar with what PropStream even is, we're a tool for real estate professionals and not just one specific real estate professional, because what we do is we aggregate data. If you've ever heard the term big data before, we're all about big data. We go nationwide and we pull in property data and situational data into one database. We standardize it and then we allow you to have a subscription and use that database to build your own lead lists. I know it sounds like a lot, but once I share my screen and we dive into it, you're going to be asking yourself, how did I ever try to find properties without PropStream? But we've gone ahead and we've expanded our software over the years. So not only can you use our database and our big data to look for leads, but we have marketing integrations, skip tracing, and like I said before, our cell phone application. Let's go ahead and dive into the software system. And I'll show you how you can use PropStream to start generating leads in your market. So this is our first page on the PropStream platform. This is our search page. And you'll see I have a picture of the United States from California all the way to New York and everywhere in between. I can search in any of these markets for properties. I can actually just zoom right in on the map if I wanted to. And if I zoom in close and close and close enough, I can see the actual parcel boundaries. So for every single different property, I'll see a little outline that says, okay, here is that parcel. And if I click on it, it'll highlight in green and pull up different details that I can read. I can even go into the property details page. And remember how I said we pull in all of this different data, basically from point A, B, C, D, we do a whole scavenger hunt. Well, this is the results. This is what you're going to find, all of that data on this one property compiled into one little property profile. But here, before we dive into the details, let me go ahead and show you all the different search methods. So we did zoom in on the map, but that can be a little tedious, a little tiresome. No one's gonna wanna zoom in on the map like that over and over and over again. So at the top of your screen, you'll find a search bar. And in this bar, this is how you'll be able to pull up your different markets. We have our largest search is a countywide search, but then we can also narrow our scope down by doing a city search, a zip code search. We can do multiple zip codes, up to five, as long as they're in the same state and separated by commas. Or we can search an exact address, an, an APN number, or we can even draw directly on the map. So let me just show you a really quick example. For me, I'm located in Southern California. So let me just search in Orange County. So I performed my search. I pulled up that market. PropStream, in their database, in our database, we have nearly 1 million properties in just Orange County. And I can see my results on the right, where it says unique properties right here, 963,000. So that's the first step to using PropStream to generate my leads, and that's pulling up my market. 
but not all of these people are necessarily ready to sell or motivated to sell. So the second step to generating my leads is going to be filtering through these results. If I look to the right of my search box, I have a little filter button here. And if I click on that, I'll get to the prop stream filter menu. Now, since we're aggregating all of this data, we have seven different categories with over 120 unique filters, which means that you get to build a really unique lead list. Historically, you might be going to a website and just saying, hey, I want a pre-foreclosure list for Orange County. But, you know, the last 100 people said the same thing and then got the same list. But on PropStream, you can go ahead and say, show me the pre-foreclosures in Orange County. But since everyone has this list, let's go ahead and customize it a little bit further. I can say, show me only residential units in Orange County that have pre-foreclosures. Show me only single family residential and so on and so forth. And I can go ahead and apply these filters to narrow down my results and build a unique niche lead list. Let's go back to our filter menus here. So we have those seven different categories. And what we're going to be able to do when we apply these filters is find motivated sellers. Right, because these 963,000 people, they're not all trying to sell their property. Some of them may have just bought their property. Well, we can use these filters to help narrow down these results and find those people who are motivated. For example, like I just mentioned, maybe some of them just purchased their property. Well, if I go into ownership info, I can say, only show me people who have owned their property for five years or more. So let's get rid of anybody who just purchased and let's narrow this down to people who might be more likely to sell, right? It's appreciated a little bit. Maybe they need to upgrade, their family's expanded. We can go through these seven different categories to build out our niche list. So let's go ahead and do that. Our first category here is for property characteristics. And this is a really important category because here's where you get to decide the classification. And we have a lot of different properties in PropStream. We actually have over 153 million records nationwide. That's 153 million properties in the United States. But those aren't all just residential. We have residential, but we also have commercial, office, industrial, agricultural, recreational, transportation exempt, and vacant land. What's even uh, more wild than the fact that we have all of these different classifications is all the property types that we have. For each of these classifications, there are 40 or so types that are underneath that. So we go into property types, I can see all of those right here. Now these types are coming from the county. So it's important to make sure that your county is recording those properties as this type. But as long as your county's recorded it correctly, you'll be able to search for it using these prop stream filters. So let's go ahead and say, I want houses five years of ownership or more that are residential. And I'll say, I want multifamily two to four. That's what I'm looking for. But remember, we can specify any of these different options. Then I can even go ahead and do bedrooms and bathrooms, building lot size, any of these different characteristics. MLS status. We do have MLS information inside of PropStream, including MLS sold prices. Now, those prices are estimates, and they're estimated with 99% accuracy. Those are perfect, though if you're running comps in non-disclosure states. But this is really important because when you're looking for a property, especially as a wholesaler, if you're looking for a property, you don't want it to be on market, <clears throat> right? You don't want a realtor to have their hands on that yet. So let's go ahead and make sure all of our properties on this list are off market. Then I can even do MLS status, listing type, days on market, or even a keyword search. This one's one of my favorites. When you go on the MLS, a realtor has to enter in details for the property. 
and we can search through those keywords to see what they entered. And you can find a lot of fun properties using the MLS keyword search. Pre-foreclosure bank owned info. So anyone who's experiencing a notice of default or an auction, default release, bank owned, or if you wanna exclude foreclosures altogether, then auction dates, release dates and bid amounts. Ownership info, like I applied my five years of ownership to make sure they didn't just move in. But let's also make sure they're individuals, right? Maybe I don't want to work with a corporation or a trust or anything. I just person to person, let's work out a deal. So I can go ahead and specify that right here. And number of properties owned even. Let's say, let's look for people who have, let's say three properties or more. And what you'll notice too is as I'm fill, as I'm applying these filters right now, you can see the search results on the right are shrinking, right? It's updating live. The more filters you add, the less results you're going to get. Every once in a while, you might add too many filters and get zero results. But that's okay. Just come over here to the filter menu. You can delete any of the filters you've applied and then keep going. But we'll have liens, divorces, and bankruptcies included inside of PropStream. And we can even specify the type of lien. So tax lien, HOA, utility, solar. Well, valuation and equity information. One of the most important filters here, especially if you're wholesaling, will be our estimated equity by percentage, right? What is the equity in this property? Is it high equity? Is this a deal that they're worth pursuing? Or is it going to be low equity? Then we also, last but not least, and this is especially really important right now, we have our mortgage info filters. From here, you can do number of open mortgages, loan types, and even interest rate types. And right now, people are really looking at ARMS or the adjustable rate mortgage because interest rates have been skyrocketing so high. So if someone got um, a loan with an adjustable rate mortgage, you know, at three or 4% a couple years ago, well, now they're up to five, nearly 6%, and they may be having trouble paying off that loan. So this is a huge, really hot data set right now, but that is the power of lead gen with PropStream, is that we're aggregating this nationwide data, and we're letting it all live under one roof. And typically to find all of this information is such a scavenger hunt. And it's going to take you so much time to try to qualify that lead and research and analyze it when you could just look it up using PropStream and find all the info you need to find in one spot. Right, so I took my Orange County search that I did and I had 1 million properties. But now I've gone ahead and I've applied my filters. Right, here's people, they have three or more properties. They've owned this one for a long time. It's not on the market maybe they're ready to sell. So I have 683 that I've narrowed down to be more motivated. And from here, like I said, I can open up these properties and I can look at their details. All of those details that PropStream pulls into one place. Like this one, actually, it was recently listed on the MLS and then it was removed and it was listed for $4,200. So it looks like they're trying to rent this unit out, but it was removed, right? So I could contact them to see if they're not able to rent it out, maybe they'd rather sell, or I could decide that's a sign to delete them off my list altogether. But I wouldn't have that info if it wasn't for PropStream. But from here to save these as a lead list, it's as simple as clicking the properties I want, or I can click all the properties on the list, and then I just click add to list. Say so, so it's OC three properties. And just like that, I have those 600 properties and all their data saved in my PropStream account. So if I go over to the left to my navigation bar and I click my properties, I can find those properties again. Here, when I click on it, it'll pull them up as a spreadsheet to the right. And I can click on any of these properties to review their details or to run my comps or a rehab calculator. You'll see there's, there's so much data here 
that we have to go left to right on this sheet just to see all of it. And we can customize all this. So if you want to download this to your computer, but you don't like the data that you see right here, that's okay. Just click this gear icon. You can customize your layout to make sure that you're downloading exactly what you want to download or just seeing exactly what you want to see. That's how you can get leads using PropStream. And remember, we're nationwide. And your one PropStream subscription for only for a low price point, I believe it's $97 per month, you're looking at 10,000 saves and exports that you're allowed to make. And that price per lead is, to me, is incredible. But it doesn't, the fun doesn't stop there. What we're able to do now with PropStream too, we found motivated sellers, right? We filtered through Orange County. We found people with multi-units. But now, as a wholesaler, I also need to find motivated buyers, right? I got it under contract with the seller, but now I need to get it under contract with the buyer. Well, on PropStream, we have cash buyers, right? We have a list of people who are purchasing properties all in cash. And typically, those are investors. And investors like to have their investments close together. It makes it a lot easier to manage. So this cash buyers list is a great way to go ahead and find people to buy your property. All I have to do now, so what I could do, I was in Orange County. Let's go ahead and let's keep my property classification and my property type. So I can say not only am I looking for cash buyers, but let's specifically look for cash buyers that are buying multifamily units. So I have these two filters and now let's click cash buyers. Oh, and erase my other two, perfect. So let's go into here and let's do residential two to four. So show me all the cash buyers in Orange County who are buying multifamily two to four. And here's 3000 people. So now I can go ahead and save these people into my account. I could skip trace them to get their contact information, phones and email addresses. And then I could reach out to them about buying the property. Another way to find cash buyers. Let me go ahead, let's pull us back into, let's take out cash buyers. Let's say I had my subject property and it's this one right here. And I have this contracted from the seller under a certain price point. Well, now what I can do is if I come into comparables and nearby listings, now what I'm able to do is look at properties that are within a certain radius of my subject property. And I can do that to get important info or to find other opportunities. And one of those is nearby cash buyers. So earlier what I did is I searched all of Orange County for cash buyers. But remember, investors like having their investments closer together. So with this, I can go find cash buyers. Let's see all the people who have purchased a property within half a mile of this property, right? So I'm not sending out an email or, or giving them a call and saying, hey, I see uh, you have another unit in Orange County, right? I see you have another unit down the street from this one. Uh, would you be interested? So now you can track down your cash buyers and make them as close as possible to your subject property. And you'll find that under the comps in nearby listings. But you'll be able to use our search page to generate your leads in your market and then also generate your cash buyers. And like I mentioned, we have our marketing and our skip tracing to help you get a hold of them and offer your services. But we have more ways to help you generate leads than just searching on the desktop. We actually have a cell phone application that comes with your PropStream subscription. You don't have to pay anything extra to access it. And it's available on iPhone and on Android. We, we don't discriminate. So <laughs> it doesn't matter what platform you're on. You can go to the Apple Store or to the Google Play Store. Type in PropStream and you can download that app to your phone. 
in using our cell phone app, we actually have an integrated driving for dollars feature. And if you've ever been driving for dollars before, then you'll know what a hassle it can be. If you've never been and you don't know what it is, let me just explain really quick. It's essentially just jumping in, in your car and driving around a neighborhood looking for distressed properties, right? Hopefully that distressed property turns into a deal, which turns into dollars. So you're driving for dollars. Um, historically, when you go out and you're driving for dollars, you'll have a notebook maybe in your car and you'll be driving and you'll see a property, let's say it has an overgrown lawn. You pull over, you'll have to find the address on the house somewhere, write it down in your notebook, get home to your office, type in that address, and then start researching and start trying to figure out the characteristics and figure out their situation and the ownership info. And maybe you'll put in an hour of research into this property only to figure out that it's not worth pursuing. Right? But now with driving for dollars on PropStream, it simplifies and streamlines that whole process. So instead of the notebook, I have my cell phone. And when I'm driving around and I see a property, I don't need to sit there and write down the address. I can just tap it on the PropStream app and save it into my PropStream account. Anytime you save a, a property from your cell phone, it gets stored into your mobile favorites folder. So you see right here, it says mobile favorites on my screen. These are 89 properties that I saved using the driving for dollars feature on my phone. And once you saved it on your phone, when you get back to the office, you don't have to go to Google and do an hour's worth of research to figure out what's going on with that property. I just log into PropStream, I click on the property address and here are all of the characteristics. Here's the tax info, the linked properties, the mortgage, here it all is in one place for me. So it's gonna save me a lot of time and a lot of stress and a lot of energy by being able to just save those properties straight into my PropStream account instead of having to try to write all the addresses down and research them myself later on. And I do have a special surprise, let me see. I think I can actually show you what that cell phone app looks like. So let me make sure I can pull this up and it shares properly before I share it over. Perfect, but here should be PropStream Mobile. We have a cell phone on the screen, but we have our driving for dollars feature. And when you go here, you can select just drive or we even have the ability to set filters and drive, which is like driving for dollars on steroids. <laughs> but essentially what we're going to be able to do is we'll give you PropStream's filter menu. And so when you're going out there, you don't have to aimlessly drive around and look for those signs of physical distress. You can find properties using our filters, right? So there's certain signs of distress, certain distressors or motivators that aren't really physical. Right? If someone has a lien on their property, maybe they're not able to take care of the gardening and their lawn is overgrown, but maybe they are. Maybe they have a lien, but there's no signs that indicate that there's anything going on. Well, thanks to setting filters and driving with PropStream's app, there's basically going to be a big billboard above their house that says we have a lien or we have a pre-foreclosure, we have a tax delinquency. Now you can drive for dollars with a little more focus because you'll be able to set filters before your drive and maybe even plan out a little route. Um, but <clears throat> the driving for dollars is a little hard to show if you're not actually driving. So I wanted to show you the app, what it looks like and what we're able to do, but we won't be able to actually do a driving for dollars today. But that's everything that I wanted to go over from generating leads. So remember, as a quick, quick recap on our search page in PropStream, you'll be able to search your market, whether it's a county search, city, zip code, APN, or address, and then filter those results down to find your motivated sellers. And then once you have them under contract, you can come right back into PropStream and look for your cash buyers in your area to find someone to sell that property to. You can even pull up your subject property and find cash buyers that, were, that are within a certain distance or within a certain radius. 
And then we have our Driving for Dollars app, which will streamline the process and save all of your properties directly into your PropStream account. And all of that, 10,000 leads, the cell phone app for the $97 per month. But thank you all so much for checking out the video. I hope you learned something new. And who knows, maybe something you learned here today helps you close your next deal. But thank you so much for watching. And remember, if you're going to sign up for PropStream for your first subscription, make sure to do so through Tyvon's link. Thanks and take care.